So you're a guitarist and you've never done an acoustic gig. I have students ask me all the time, I wanna make some money, I'm really great at playing the guitar, how can I do that? Playing acoustic gigs is, is an awesome way to like actually be able to make some money playing music, doing something you like. I was always really scared to do solo ones. I would just play guitar and have a different singer and one time I got booked for a hotel and I didn't have any singer and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it myself. And it ended up being super fun. If you just put a little prep work in, these acoustic gigs can be really easy and again, it's like something you can legitimately get paid for playing the guitar. What should I bring to my acoustic gig? First off, it's probably pretty obvious, but if you've never done something like this, they're going to expect you to bring a PA system, uh, or at the very least, get your guitar through a speaker. Small PA is probably fine. I'm assuming you're doing an acoustic gig at a restaurant or a charity event. PA systems I recommend. My number one recommendation, because this is one that I was using recently, is the Yamaha Stage Pass. They have different sizes of this available. You can probably find it used. Pretty affordable. It's got the Bluetooth connectivity. It's got some effects on it. It's easy to use. It's small. The Turbo Sound Inspire. This is one of those like tower PA systems. So this is super portable. And Turbo Sound's shit is like honestly really nice now. Since Behringer bought them and Behringer fucking owns everything. Really a good price and honestly sounds great. And then last but not least, the most famous of the super portable PA systems, the Fender Passport. Everybody's owned a fucking Fender Passport in their lifetime. That's everybody's first PA system. And these new ones are nice. They look a lot more high tech than, than when I bought my first first Fender Passport, so definitely worth mentioning. If you're uh, tasked with bringing a PA, make sure you bring a PA and all the necessary cabling, stands, mic stand. So there are uh, specific amps for acoustic guitars. Typically acoustic amps have a slot for an XLR in for you to plug in a microphone because they assume you're gonna be using these acoustic amps at a gig exactly like what I'm describing. Check out the TC Helicon Harmony 100. It actually has a looper built in. It's got like a harmonizer for your voice. It's got a bunch of effects and other bullshit that you will actually use. It's a one-stop shop, so that's cool. Also, I like the Fishman Loudbox. It's got Bluetooth connectivity. It sounds really good, very articulate and clear. Fishman makes good stuff. Bringing a capo. That is a good idea. Both from Diodario, we got the Tri-Action Capo. That's just your regular ass fast clamper. If you're using a capo a lot and like moving around a lot, this is good because it's like a trigger grip capo. You know, it's quick. But if you don't use a capo that often and you're more concerned about your tuning or intonation or like maybe you play a 12 string and you wanna make sure that the capo actually gets all of your notes ringing out clearly. This Artist Capo Plus or whatever, it's got like this gel goo inside the um, pad and it really works. I've paid like fucking $80 for these expensive ass 12 string capos and they don't work anywhere near as well as this one. Every note rings out really nicely. I'm like super impressed. If you don't need to move around really quickly with your capo, I definitely recommend this one above all others. Bringing a clip-on tuner, depending on what kind of pickup you have in your acoustic electric guitar, sometimes they don't really work well with pedal tuners. So clip-on tuner is a good idea for the acoustic gig. If you follow my YouTube channel, you've probably seen my video about the Korg sledgehammer. Looks like that's no longer in production, but Korg is still making a very nice clip-on tuner. My favorite thing about this one is it has 11 different displays to enlighten and inspire. You can have your tuner look like a little cartoon cat. You got like a Tamagotchi, or you can just have it look like a fucking tuner. Like, why that was the marketing choice. I, I mean, I guess I'm fucking talking about it right now. So it worked. Of course, the Peterson Strobo Tune, that's gonna be your most accurate clip-on tuner. So if you're like a real gig dog doing this acoustic shit and you wanna spend a bunch of money on a clip-on tuner, the Peterson Strobo Stomp will be like your nicest one. And then we just have our kind of run-of-the-mill Diodario clip-on tuner, which is, is gonna be more affordable, but certainly nicer than a snark piece of shit. Bringing a guitar stand. Some really portable, compact ones that will fit any acoustic guitar, and they're cheap, and they're rugged, real rugged. The Hercules Easy Pack Guitar Stand. Okay, this one is like super portable, very cheap. It works for acoustic and electric, folds up. You can fit in your fucking lunch pail. Second, the Travel Light Acoustic Stand, also by Hercules. So this is good if you're using it just for acoustic guitar because it's got foam over it. So if you have like a really nice acoustic guitar, you can get this one and then you don't have to worry. 
uh, like a phone holder or a tablet holder. If you're doing like covers or you're like playing a restaurant gig, it's like three, four hours. Uh, you want something to hold your music besides like a big clunky music stand. Device holders you should check out. First one is gonna be the Hercules iPhone holder. For real, there's like so many of these fucking phone and iPad holders out there. And most of them are fucking awful, like literally unusable and they're expensive as shit. And these Hercules ones are fucking cheap and they work great. So check out this Hercules iPhone one. It's like 30 bucks and it'll last you forever. If you have an Android, um, you can't, you're not allowed to play music. You gotta just fucking quit, I'm really sorry. But uh, if you happen to trade that in, then you can use this stand. But if you do have an iPad, then you can just spend $10 more and you can get the Hercules iPad holder, which also will work to hold a phone. It's a two in one for $10 more and it's rad. Another thing that I think is super important to have for an acoustic gig if you're playing it solo is some way to loop yourself or some way to create a rhythm that you can solo over or play leads over. Okay, so we got the Boss RC1, the little red pedal that could. Super simple looper, very famous, iconic red Boss pedal. It's really all you need. I think that it has auto quantize now, which is great. Kind of smooshes your shit into time if you're not that quick on the draw with your foot. Super easy to use, nice quality, will last a long time. Can't go wrong with the Boss one. My other recommendation is the TC Electronics Ditto Looper, very tiny does not take up a lot of real estate. One knob, one button, and it's like a hundred bucks. The, the ditto is cheap. You don't need to break the fucking bank to make a one man band, you know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing to think about, you don't have to do this, but some percussion is nice. A foot tambourine, shaker. I think it makes it more fun. The audience likes it better. Even just like one foot having a tambourine doing like what a snare drum would do makes a big difference, like making people feel like there's a higher production value. It's weird because it's really not a lot, but it makes people feel like you're doing more. My favorite thing is just this LP Latin percussion ankle tambourine. $14, it sounds good. You just tap your foot and now you got a fucking tambourine on two and four. It's fucking awesome. If you really want, if you want to get like hardcore about stuff, you can get this thing. It's called a logarithm travel log or mini log. They make a couple different sizes of them, but it's a piezo pickup in a log and you tap it with your foot and it makes a kick drum sound or a relatively convincing thud sound. You do need to plug it into a PA. It doesn't do anything on its own, but you plug it in just with a quarter inch cable. Between that and the tambourine for the snare, you have like a drum groove. Yeah, decent microphone. I get SM58, tried and true, you know, nothing, nothing wrong with that. If you want to save some money, you can get an SM48 and no one will ever know the difference at your acoustic gig. It's like half the price. What makes sense too, especially if you're doing this often, getting like a small cart and like some bungee cords. An acoustic gig like this is something you can really pack all your stuff together and do in one trip. Just easy as hell, this is all business, you know what I'm saying? One thing that I really recommend is a power strip that has USB ports on it. I really like this one from Amazon. I have a few of them, one that I keep in my acoustic guitar case, one that I keep with my electric shit, and then another one that I keep at the practice space so I can always have my phone or my iPad charged and they make a five foot one, a nine foot one, and it's not expensive. As far as for like the phone cable, the anchor one off Amazon, those don't break. Uh, a lot of those like cheaper ones do break really quick, so I recommend the anchor one. For carts, the rock and roller cart, you see those all the time. Those are pretty rugged and they can fold down really flat, which is nice. So I recommend those. They're a little on the pricey side, but they are dependable. Links for everything are in the description below. Don't be afraid to try the acoustic gig. It's great practice, gets you out of your comfort zone and it honestly can be some good money. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. You can always DM me. You can probably find my phone number on the internet. I don't care, just reach out to me, whatever.